For those of us who treat people with breast cancer, there are lots of very happy stories that we get to witness and to remember. But not all of uh, the stories that we have to tell are happy ones. And it includes one I'm about to tell now. The reason I'm telling this story is to illustrate how a condition called ductal carcinoma in situ can change over time. And secondly, to illustrate that even in its untreated state, breast cancer can play out not only over months, but really over years. The woman I am about to describe was seen by me only once fairly recently, and much of her history I was able to glean from getting records from other hospitals. When she saw me, she was 67 years old, and her complaint was that she had a large mass in her breast that had been there for several years and was growing. Her breast had begun to hurt and she had lost weight. When I examined her, she had a mass in her right breast, in the lower part of her breast. That was about five inches in diameter and the skin of the lower part of her right breast had begun to pucker and become wrinkled with the tumor very close behind it. When I examined the lymph nodes beneath her right arm, they were swollen, stuck to one another, and also stuck against her chest wall. Additionally, she had lost a great deal of weight and her skin hung from her arms uh, showing that to be true. She was very proud of the fact that she had always been a farmer and had that strong outdoor look and that that had, had gone away. <clears throat> From her history, I was able to tell that sometime before 2016, when she was about 61, she had had a breast biopsy a core needle breast biopsy for microcalcifications, which can be a very early sign of breast cancer and very frequently a premalignant condition called ductal carcinoma in situ. It turns out that she did have ductal carcinoma in situ sometime before 2016. She elected not to have her ductal carcinoma in situ treated, and she went on doing quite well and had another mammogram at another hospital in 2018. What that mammogram showed was that the calcifications in her right breast had increased in number in the area where her previous biopsy had been performed and treatment was recommended. Unfortunately, she never saw treatment until the day she came to see me and I examined her with the findings that I have described. I arranged a needle biopsy to be done very quickly and that was performed. And her ductal carcinoma in situ, which at one point was an entirely curable condition had changed to a very aggressive form of breast cancer, an invasive ductal carcinoma, grade three, which lacked estrogen and progesterone receptors and had elevated amounts of HER2. This tumor profile is very aggressive. I also arranged for a number of other studies to be performed. Before she could ever get back to me though, she was admitted to another hospital in the area, having suffered a fall and being confused. Through the emergency room, a number, a number of tests were performed fairly quickly. It was noted that her blood calcium level was very high, 
which can certainly be a sign of cancer that has spread. And a CAT scan showed that she had numerous tumors in her lungs, her liver, and her bones. Her care was directed toward comfort and she died within a few days. And the only reason to tell this story is to really illustrate the progression of breast cancer from its pre-malignant form to its ultimately fatal form in one patient, knowing that stories certainly can differ. And also to remind people that breast cancer is a disease that plays out over a long period of time, generally, even though some forms of breast cancer can change much more quickly.